Ice hip lifts with circles. Now that you've conquered all of that ice core work, we're going to move into incorporating those same deep and surface muscles of the core, and then we're going to add the legs, okay? So this exercise is mainly for the glutes and the hamstrings. It's pretty intense. Uh, Marcus is going to do one isometric, make sure you feel it, and then he's going to do a few slow and a few fast. Do not be surprised if your hamstrings cramp. I have seen it many a times. And uh, so we're going to begin. We're going to start by taking a deep breath in. Exhale, send the energy all the way down to the transverse abs. Tip the pelvis, and he's going to roll up and squeeze his glutes. That alone is difficult. Hold the buns up, and you're going to straighten the legs all the way. And then you're going to bend them all the way, which is a lot of hammy. And then you're going to roll it right back down. Okay, so that's one repetition. What you want to do, go ahead and keep going, Marcus. Make sure you do it with breath. Make sure your upper body is relaxed. Make sure your pelvis is tipped to the back. And roll down. Good. Now, on this, when you go out, make sure you go all the way straight. And then you're going to bend to come all the way in and then roll it down. And you should feel origin to insertion on the hamstrings, do you? You're not going to cramp, are you? No. Nope. Can you do a few fast for us? And just pull it in. Up, out, and in. Okay, again, doing the fast and slow twitch will just fire up all those fibers. Very good. All right, take a little break. And what we're going to do is we're just going to let the knees fall out to the side. So you're moving into external rotation of the hips. And we're going to repeat that same exercise. Again, the breath and the core stability is as important as what's going on back here. So deep breath in. Exhale, energy comes down. Tip the pelvis so you flatten out your back. Lift your buns up a little. Legs go out. Pull it all the way back in. Keep a lot of control. And then take that right back down. Very good. Take it up. Where you're going to feel this is on the outside of the buns and the hamstrings that run down the sides. Remember we talked a little bit about different angles? That's how you get the different fibers of the hamstrings. You want to condition that leg all the way around. That's what we're doing here on the back side. And then just do a couple fast. Does it feel different to do it fast? Uh, it takes a little more stability to do it that fast. So tighten up that core. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what we're going to do here is go ahead and spread your feet out just a little bit, Marcus. And then let your knees come towards each other. And you're going to turn the feet in, turn the knees in, all coming from the hip. And we're going to do just a few of these in internal rotation. So deep breath in. Exhale, transverse abs, pelvic floor, tilt the pelvis. Try to keep the knees together as long as you can and then pull them in. This is the hardest one because these are the two little teeny hamstrings that most of the time just sit there, don't do much. So we want to get them engaged as part of our life, right? Yeah. Good. And the last couple fast. Here we go. We're almost done, you guys. Hang in there with the hamstrings. This is really intense. Doing great. And last one right here, Marcus. And whip it in. And stop and rest. What you may want to do now is just go ahead and let one leg at a time come up and just stretch it out. Pull that toe towards your face. Do you feel that? Good, and then just drop that one and switch. We'll pull it up, give him a little fascial stretch, stretch that subdural layer, and everybody stop and just rest.